During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, many people lost their businesses, while others leaned on the government for billions in cash to stay afloat. Now, two and a half years later, we've learned more than businesses here in Seattle received those PPP forgiven loans, costing taxpayers more than a billion dollars. Como's Preston Phillips caught up with a group crunching the data. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, the economic shutdown was soon to follow as businesses across the country were hit with operating restrictions. Congress created the $700 billion Paycheck Protection Program in an effort to compensate employers so they could in turn keep their employees on the payroll. Thousands of businesses took advantage, including at least 612 here in Seattle. We can debate the merits of Congress's COVID aid programs, but here's what we can all agree on. Every dime of this COVID aid was borrowed against the national debt, which now just exceeded $31 trillion. So we're gonna be paying all of this back for generations. Adam Angievsky, who runs OpenTheBooks.com, crunched the data for the Seattle area and found that a total of $1.3 billion in forgiven large federal loans were given out. I think people will feel that it's shocking that the system was gamed by people who may or may not have had a real need and a real claim to millions of dollars worth of COVID aid. Take Seattle Goodwill Industries, for example, which now operates under the name Evergreen Goodwill of Northwest Washington. One of the largest single loans received of $10 million, all forgiven. They told us in a statement, quote, in March of 2020, our 24 retail stores and 30 donation centers shuttered. For four months, our sales dropped to zero and our main source of funding for our mission came to a halt. The loan allowed us to continue to help people secure life-changing jobs and support the economic prosperity of Northwest Washington communities during a very difficult time. Then there's the Seattle Times and subsidiaries, two loans totaling $11.8 million in 2020 and 2021, both forgiven. The Seattle Times needs to justify their $11.8 million taxpayer subsidy. Why did they really need it and why? How can you be an independent journalist if you're subsidized by government? So on the editorial page of the Seattle Times, they need to answer these questions. Meantime, over $100 million in forgiven PPP loans was doled out to Seattle law firms. One of the largest in the country, Lane Powell PC, received a forgiven loan of $8.4 million. In a statement, Lane Powell told us, quote, it enabled us to maintain our workforce through a time when it was difficult or impossible for many of our employees to perform their duties as they had before the pandemic. According to OpenTheBooks.com, this is a company with an estimated annual revenue of $94 million.